Hi, welcome to this video. Uh, in today's video, we are going to talk about uh, how to create truth tables from logic circuits. Uh, so a truth table is used to uh, show the function uh, of a logic circuit. And so we're going to use a truth table to uh, find out the function of different logic circuits. Okay, so uh, we're just going to uh, go and have a look at the slideshow. All right, so uh, here's our slideshow. All right, and uh, I've come up with a little mnemonic to help you remember how to create a uh, truth table uh, from a logic circuit, okay? Uh, now it's, a, you know, I, I tried my best to come up with this mnemonic, okay? So uh, first things first, you type out the truth table um, for the gates in the circuit. Now the reason why I asked you to type out the truth table is because this just reduces your cognitive load, okay? Because if you uh, have the truth tables written down, uh, then you don't have to keep them in your head and try and uh, remember them. In, uh, remember them. Okay, so that's always the first thing I would recommend is you type out those uh, truth tables for the gates that are in the circuit. Okay. Um, the second thing you need to do is you need to add a letter label. So you need to uh, label um, the uh, the components of your circuit. Okay. Now, uh, more often than not in the exam, your inputs will already be labeled. You can see in my circuit they're not. Um, so you need to add a letter label for all the components in your circuit, and I'm going to show you that how to do that in a minute. All right, so the third thing you do uh, in our table mnemonic is uh, you build the truth table. Uh, so you add the columns for the inputs, and then you are going to add an, uh, a column for each of the outputs. So in this situation here, uh, we're going to have two outputs. because We're going to have one um, after the AND gate and one after the NOT gate. Okay. Um, so we will have two extra columns, and again, I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Uh, then you label those columns using the letter label that you uh, that you added earlier. Okay, and then the final one of our table mnemonic is that we enter the output for each column. Okay, so I'm going to take you through that step by step, uh, and hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense. Okay, so uh, the first thing we do in our table mnemonic is we type out the truth tables for the gates in the circuit. Again, the reason why we do this is to reduce the cognitive load, okay? You don't have to keep those tables in your head. So I've only got two um, gates in this circuit, okay? Hopefully, hopefully you recognize this as an AND gate, so I'm going to do the truth table for an AND gate. Okay, so here's uh, input A, here's input B. Here's our output, and the truth table for, um, if we remember the function of an AND gate is uh, one and the other have to be on, okay? So if it's uh, if they're both off, it's gonna be off. If uh, one of them is on, but the other is off, it's gonna be off. Just do that in reverse, okay? And so the only time it's on is when one and the other are on, okay? So that's important to remember for an AND gate. And then we'll do the truth table for the NOT gate. Okay, so we've got a NOT gate here. Now, if you remember rightly, and as we can see in the diagram, the NOT gate is the only gate that just has one input. Okay, and uh, sometimes some people call a NOT gate an inverter, all right, which gives you a hint about the function. So we're just going to have uh, one input here and then the output. So if the input is off, it's going to invert. So it's going to be on. And uh, if the input is on, it's going to be off. Okay, so those are our, so what we've done first, we've done the first step in our table uh, mnemonic, which was to type out the truth tables for the gates in the circuit. Okay, so let's have a look what it says to do next. Okay, so uh, in our mnemonic, we, uh, it now said to add a letter label for each of the inputs and the outputs. Okay, so uh, again, it doesn't make any difference how you label this, it's entirely up to you. All right, but I'm gonna label this one as input A, this as input B. Okay, uh, here is going to be, uh, this is going to be my output, so I'm going to output this point at C, all right, and this is going to be uh, D, okay, and hopefully you all understand that so the output of D will be the eventual output of my circuits, okay, so again, in the exam, normally this point here will be labeled for you, okay, so that final output will be labeled for you, um, but in this situation it isn't, so I've just labeled it myself. Okay, so we have just uh, done A of our table uh, mnemonic, we've added a letter label. Okay, so uh, what does it say to do next? So now it says to build the truth table with the input columns and an output column for each gate in the circuit. All right, so let's do that now. I'm going to do that over here. I'm going to have to cross this line over here. Okay. So let's do, so we need a column for input A, we need a column for input B, 
okay and then we're going to need uh, we've got two more so we've got two outputs so we're going to need two more columns there we go okay so that is uh, we build we we, uh, we built our truth table all right so that's uh, b uh, let's have a look at l what does it say to do next so l says to label the output columns using the letter label so in here we're going to put c and d okay and then finally we're on the last letter of our mnemonic so if we go back to our mnemonic we're going to enter the output for each of the columns okay so uh, let's just do the inputs first so let's actually just do these columns so we want all the combination of inputs for a and b so we could have both of them off we could have uh, one on and the other one off and we can do that uh, the other way around and we could have both of them on okay so those are all the, the, the different inputs okay and then let's put that through an AND gate so we can refer to our table up here so if both are off uh, it's going to be off okay uh, if one is on and uh, the other is off it's going to be off so I'm just referring to my table uh, again I've got this one here so that's going to be off and then this is on okay uh, and so there's my first column there's my first output column done Okay, now I'm going to do my second output column, so I'm going to find out what my final output is going to be. So I'm going to put the, uh, my input is now going to be column, uh, column C, so I'm going to look here. Okay, and I'm going to put column C through a NOT gate. Okay, so here's my truth table for my NOT gate, my inverter. So uh, I've got a zero here, so if I've got a zero, I'm going to put a one. There we go. Okay, I've got a zero again, so I'm going to put a one. I have a zero, I'm going to put a one, and I've got a one, so I'm going to put a zero. Okay, and so this column is the final output of this circuit. All right, so you have completed uh, your truth table for this logic circuit. Okay, now um, what you might notice, uh, and hopefully you have, all right, is uh, actually the output from this circuit is the same as the output that you get from another logic gate. Um, what, which logic gate is it? Okay, it is of course a NAND gate. Okay, so in fact, what we've uh, we could in fact replace these two uh, gates that we've got here with a NAND gate. Okay, um, so hopefully uh, that's just taking you through the table uh, the table mnemonic, and hopefully it makes a little bit more sense about how we create a truth table uh, for a circuit. Now I'm just going to do it once more. Uh, so I'm just going to take you through uh, this um, this circuit here. All right, and I'm going to take you through the mnemonic uh, so we can understand how we can create a uh, uh, a truth table for this circuit. Okay, so we're going to start um, by typing out the truth table for the the logic gates in our circuit. Uh, we've only got one logic gate in our circuit, which is this one here, and of course this is a NAND gate. Okay, so let's do the truth table for a NAND gate. Okay. All right, and so let's do an AND gate. So we've got, well, let's put our different inputs in. So one on, the other off, uh, one off, the other on, and both on. Okay, and the NAND gate then, as we've already learned from the slide before, is the inverse of uh, an AND gate. Okay, so the inverse of an AND gate means that this will be on, this will be on, this will be on, and this will be off. All right, that's the inverse, inverse of a NAND gate. Okay, so that's the first thing that we do in our mnemonic, which was to type out the truth table uh, for the logic gates in our circuit. Uh, the second one was to add labels, it was A for add labels. So we're now going to add some labels. Uh, so I'm going to label this one A, this one B. Uh, the output here is going to be C. The output here is going to be uh, D. And then my final output here, uh, I will label as E. Okay, so that was... Uh, a in my mnemonic to uh, add the labels all right now I'm going to go to B which is to build my uh, truth table all right I've got plenty of a bit of room over here so we can build it over here okay so I'm gonna ha I need a column for my both inputs so I've got a column for A column for B and then I need uh, columns for my output so I need a column for C a column for D uh, and a column for E okay uh, excellent uh, I'm just going to put those different inputs in for A and B so they can both be off uh, one can be on and the other one can be off and that we can do that in the in the, uh, the inverse the other way around and we've got one and one there we go there is our built 
truth table. Okay, now we're just going to uh, do L, which is to label the columns, the output columns. So this is going to be C, D, and E. Okay, um, so this is an interesting one. We've got A as uh, both inputs into C, because now we're going to be on to uh, E, which is to enter, uh, uh, enter the values for the outputs. Okay, so we've got A going into uh, a NAND gate. Okay, so we're just going to be concentrating on this column to get us started. Okay, this column here. So we've got a zero and a zero. So if we look up our, so we're looking at our truth table over here. We've got a zero and a zero. That's a one. There we go. Okay. Uh, this time we've got a one and a one because we're just looking here, aren't we? So we've got a one and a one. That's going to be a zero. Okay. We've got a zero and a zero again. That's going to be a one. And then we've got a one and a one, which is going to be a zero. Okay. So that's uh, the output here at that point there. Okay. Now we'll do the output at D. So again, we've got both inputs from uh, B going into. Uh, Sorry, we've got the inputs for the NAND gate are both B. Okay, so we, we, that's what we've got here. All right, so we're going to look at this column this time. We're going to look at the B column. Okay, so again, we've got 0, 0, so we go up here. 0, 0, that's going to be a 1. All right, we've got 0, 0 again, which means that's going to be a 1. We've got 1, 1, which is going to be a 0. Okay, and then we've got 1, 1, which is also going to be a 0. Okay. Hey, this is looking good, isn't it? Okay, so we've completed the two output columns. We've completed this output column here, and we've completed this output column here. Okay, so we're now going to do the final output column, which is E, all right, which is going to take our uh, value in the C column and the value in the D column, and we're going to NAND them together. Okay, so we've got C, which is 1, and D, which is 1. Okay, so we've got a 1 and a 1. That's going to give us a 0. Okay. Uh, this time we we're going to again we're going to look at C and D. So we've got a zero and a one. All right. So we've got a zero and a one. That's going to give us a one. Okay. Uh, we've got a one and a zero. Okay. So again we're looking over at this at this table over here. So we've got a one and a zero. That's going to give us a one. Okay. And then this final one we've got a zero and a zero. So we look here. We've got zero and a zero. That's going to give us a one. Okay, and there we go. All right, there is the again. This column, this final column, shows us the function of uh, this logic circuit. All right, and look, just one more final point. You will notice again. Okay, like the last one, what uh, does this column look like? Okay, the 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 function of this circuit matches the function of uh, another logic gate that you are aware of. Okay, hopefully you have noticed that the the function of this circuit matches the function of an or gate okay and uh, hopefully what this has highlighted to you is that you can create any of those logic gates that you've learned about uh, from NAND gates okay uh, so hopefully all that makes sense okay um, so uh, thank you very much for watching all right it's been great seeing you uh, in the next video we'll look at how we can create circuits when we've got uh, more than two inputs. So we'll look at when we've got three inputs. Okay. Thanks for watching.